In today's video, we are going to see how you can add or edit coupon codes into your campaign. So basically, coupon codes is added inside your reward. So when someone won the reward, you can give them a coupon code and they can use that for further process. So maybe the coupon code can be useful for the e-commerce transaction or maybe a physical purchase. So for that, uh, what you need to do, you just need to go to your campaign and then the reward section. You can add the coupon code in existing reward or you can add a new reward and you can add the coupon code over there. So we can we can check both scenario in this video. So let's get started. So first of all, you need to add the reward. Let's say we need to give a 10% of reward. Okay, now this type is the winner type status is active and I want to give like 100 uh, for that. Okay, now here is a question. Do you want the coupon code for this active or inactive? If you click on inactive, then this reward is not applicable for the coupon code. But if you create active, then you need to go to the further step and there you need to identify the coupon code. Okay, so let's go with the active. You can save and add coupon. Also, a uh, coupon code is only active when it's a type is a winner. For loser, there is no coupon code. Okay. So now, when you when you click on that, you go to the setting called the coupon code. It is it is a, another tab after the reward setting. So here we have a two type of coupon codes. One is the normal coupon code. Second is the runtime coupon code. So what is the main difference between that? So in the coupon code, you by yourself or our system can generate a coupon code and it's when you click on that, it's already defined over there, where in the runtime coupon code, you just define what type of coupon code you want and when someone win the reward at that time system system will automatically generate the coupon code for that. So in the runtime, you can only provide definition like this type of coupon code I need and when actually people won the reward at that time that coupon code is generated but in the normal coupon code coupon code will be automatically generated and they can only assign to that particular rewards so let's start with this coupon code okay once you click on coupon code there is a multiple options over there we will go one by one so first one is the random code generator okay so here our system will generate coupon code for you randomly so there is a two option one is the automatic generation one is the manual generation okay so let's go with the automatic one so in the automatic one first one is the how many coupon codes do you want to generate so for example i have created 100 rewards for this so maybe equal to i want to generate 100 coupons for also here you can identify like what is the length of the coupon code so for example if you want to generate coupon code with the five length only so you can define over there so let's say it's a eight then there is a user type so in the usage type is for example that coupon code how many times that coupon code can be redeemed can be used so if it is once then once someone use that coupon code it's full no one no one else can use that one if you choose unlimited then that same coupon code can be used unlimited times so for example if you have a generate generic coupon code like uh, first 50 off or maybe 100 off so you can use that unlimited one or maybe a limited one so for example if you want this coupon code can only be redeemed by 15 times so single coupon code can be redeemed 15 times so let's go with the ones as of now here you can also uh, check out the description then there is an advanced section so this is a completely optional section so for example if you have some brand like for gamify root if we want a prefix like gr okay then our coupon code will be generated as a G gr underscore then the coupon code will be generated you can also add a suffix uh, uppercase lowercase as per your requirement okay so for example we can just click over here okay so and also this prefix is on top of this so eight digit coupon code will be there and this three digit is already added so basically it's a 11 digit coupon code okay now there is a manual generation so in the manual generation we also have a usage type like you want to use unlimited time or you want to use the limited time okay so here here you need for example it's unlimited time then you don't need to provide like how many time you want you want to need so for example what you can do you can just put the coupon code like of one and of two so this type of coupon code will be used and each coupon code can use be unlimited time 
but if you go with the limited then there you need to provide the coupon code and their usage limit so for example it's a 10 of 1 then this can be used five times then it's a 10 of 2 then you can use 10 times so if it is limited then you need to provide that like for which coupon code how many usage limits over there okay so this is the main random code generators where we generate the coupon code for you and there is a two type of options over there another one is the upload excel so for example if you have already third party system like shopify woocommerce or something and you already created lots of coupon codes over there, then you need to use that then you can just uh, download our sample coupon code uh, url uh, this this file and you can just upload over there okay now let's go check out the runtime so in the runtime coupon code we have two option only unlimited usage or limited usage so same if you go to unlimited then no need to provide how many times if you go with the limited then you need to provide that how many coupon code do you want to generate okay and then there is the same thing uh, the code like you need a coupon code to be eight digit or 10 10 digit length or something there and this is the advanced this is the same over there also for the limited you need to provide like how many uh, numbers do you want to generate so for example it's a uh, 100 10 whatever coupon code do you want to generate okay so in the runtime like for example the coupon code will be not this is only schema for them when someone won it will according to this setting they can create the coupon for that okay so i think so the basic thing is clear now let's create one coupon code we will gonna play that and we will check how it's going to work okay so let's create a coupon code uh, i want only 10 coupon code right now length will be 7 it's only need to use once and I need it's a prefix as GRS okay so this is my figures what type of coupons do I need to generate once it's done I need to click on save so once I click on save you can see it's automatically generated the 10 coupon codes which have a GRS as a prefix then all things are in the uppercase and also there is a count one and usage type is one okay so uh, let's just play this game Things so I need to check that reward. Okay, the count this count is really big, so that's why the probability it is going more more people going to win that. So for that we have two options. One we can just disable this or we can just increase the probability of this. So just go over here and I'm just increasing this. Okay. Now let's play again. So now when we click over here, okay, you can see there's a 10% off when we go to the result you are able to see the promotion code so this this can be changeable whatever you want to put over here you can you can just do it coupon code promotion code anything and here is the promotion code just apply and you can just simply click over there now let's go to our reward section and we can just check over there okay here you can see this coupon code is already used over there it's one and once it's used the delete functionality will be removed from there okay so uh, that's the that's the basic use case also you are able to see over here the history like whatever you do so for example right now you add this now you want to add another 10 coupon code for example okay so for example i want to add the another coupon code like gr underscore manual and i need to use it for only five times okay so you are able to see it is added count five okay and it's a limited time okay so in the history you are able to see a multiple entries over there so basically you are able to know that what happened at which time also we have a functionality if this is the manual one manual coupon code and now you want to change it to the runtime coupon code okay so that can be also be possible okay uh, rather than updating over here let's do another coupon another reward over there and we can check that okay okay now we will do a runtime coupon code so length lands need to be five digit only we are not setting up anything and you can use unlimited time or if you go with the 
limited one then we can okay but we can do we only need a one code and length will be a five okay so you can see there is no data over here because this is only a schema when actually someone run and actually got win that particular price then system will automatically generate and assign that okay so now let's test that also okay this is the another price because it's a 10 party chance to win 20 percent okay here we go 20 percent go to result and you can see it's a five it's a five digit code and uh, let's see over here when we refresh it okay the system is already generated and it is already assigned over there so in the runtime you can do that also we have a webbooks in the integration section so for example if you want to generate runtime coupon code and send to third party system like shopify woocommerce or magento then you can do that also so this particular code can insert it over there and your your user can go to your e-commerce website and just redeem that so I think so that's uh, that's it for that uh, let me let me just give you one like if you want to switch from runtime to manual or manual to runtime so this is a runtime coupon code now you want to switch to the manual one so you can click over there here is some uh, we can say a caution you you must need to check check that because when we switch from one to another some validations will be fired and some coupon codes will be not valid for that okay so now we switch to the manual one now we also need to be apply like what we need to do so we need to provide all the details over there and save it so you can see all things are generated now one time so basically you already have your your past like one one coupon code is runtime now this is all the manual also in the history you are able to see that it's a change so all the history will be maintained over there so i think so that's it for my end uh, one last thing if your coupon code is we can say uh, exhausted like for example here we have a 2000 uh, rewards to give to users but we only have a hardly 11 11 coupons then when someone won this price at the 12th level okay then the coupon code will be null printed over there like there is no no data for that particular coupon code so make sure when you when you use the coupon code and uh, coupon code and discount setting then make it equal or make it as per your requirement so there will be a no mismatch over there